Alright, now it's time to look towards the future! Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list, and welcome to my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017. Yes, I just did my top 10 best and worst of 2016, and now it's time to look towards the future. 2017 is approaching us, and there are some movies that are looking pretty awesome. So I thought I'd count down my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017. Am I projecting that all these movies are going to be that all these movies are going to be good? No, because a lot of these movies will probably end up being terrible. As you saw my last video, as you saw my last year's anticipated list, a lot of those movies end up being pretty terrible. This is just an anticipation. A lot of movies that actually end up being my best of the year are movies that I haven't even heard of until that year. So, yeah, these are just movies I'm looking forward to. That's all it is. It's not what I'm predicting that it's going to be my best of next year or anything. This is just movies that I'm really excited to see. So, yeah, let's get to it. Here's my top ten most anticipated movies of 2017. And before top 10 list, you gotta have your honorable mentions. My honorable mentions are Kong Skull Island, Justice League, John Wick, Wick Chapter 2, The Dark Tower, The Mummy, The Lego Batman Movie, and Thor Ragnarok. All movies I'm really looking forward to. Just can't wait to top 10 list, but damn my top 10 was my number 10. And my number 10 is Beauty and the Beast. Yes, tale as old as time, tale as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast. Yes, everyone knows Beauty and the Beast is one of my favorite animated Disney movies of all time. It's an amazing film. I've done two trailer reactions for the teaser and the trailer. It looks good. Bill Con Bill Condon's a very good director. You got Emma Watson as Belle. You got Dan Stevens as the Beast. You got a really solid cast. It looks beautiful. It looks like it's loyal to the source material. It looks like it has new songs. It has the old songs. It just looks like a hell of a damn good movie. And I love the new Cinderella movie, the new Jungle Book movie. So, yeah, these live-action remake Disney movies end are ending up really good and very interesting. So, I'm excited for Beauty and the Beast. Am I a little skeptical? Of course. But I'm still really looking forward to it. Coming number nine is Wonder Woman. Yes, Gal Gadot impressed me in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. She was one of the good parts of that movie, her, Ben Affleck, Jeremy Irons. But yeah, I'm looking for her. I'm looking forward to her standalone movie because these DC movies have not been really impressing me lately. So I'm really hoping Wonder Woman is going to be the movie. It's directed by a female director. The trailers that we've gotten look very funny, interesting, intriguing, very visually creative. You got Chris Pine in the movie. Gal Gadot just looks like Wonder Woman. Everything about that movie just looks like a great Wonder Woman movie. So fingers crossed, maybe this will be the first truly great movie in the DC Cinematic Universe. I'm really hoping. Yes, some of these movies have not been really hitting well, but I hope Wonder Woman is going to break the chain and give us a damn good DC movie. Coming number eight is Alien Covenant. Yes, Alien Covenant, I'm really looking forward to. Everyone knows that Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love Alien, Alien, Aliens, and I even enjoyed Prometheus. I was a big fan of it. Now he's returning, it's the sequel to Prometheus and the actual prequel to Alien and stuff, and you got Ridley Scott returning as the director and stuff, Mafas Bender, Numi Repulse and stuff. This movie I'm really looking forward to. I saw a few imagery, saw the poster, I'm very excited. Yes, we haven't seen a trailer yet, but again, it's Ridley Scott. And Ridley Scott, he gave us Alien and Prometheus, which was a very smart science fiction film. I'm really looking forward to see what they do with this movie, I'm looking forward to seeing some xenomorphs, I'm looking to forward to see how they're going to connect it with Alien. I'm really excited for this movie. Come on, it's Ridley Scott and Alien. How can you not be excited for that? Coming number seven is War of the Planet of the Apes. Yes, all these movies have been impressing me more and more. Rise of the Planet of the Apes was a great movie. I never thought that would movie that would that movie would actually be a good film, but when it came out in 2011, it was so good. And Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was even better. This movie looks even better. This is actually the war between the apes and the humans. You got Caesar back. Andy Serkis, amazing as Caesar. This looks dark. It looks gritty. You got Woody Harrelson in this movie. The shots, the visuals, everything about that trailer just got me pumped. And again, these movies are just getting better and better, so I'm hoping this is even better than Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. I'm so excited. Coming number six is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yes, I love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of the best movies of the MCU. It's so fun, so kick-ass. It's like the Firefly of the MCU. It's got an awesome soundtrack, and this movie just looks like it's doing the same thing. It's not the same story, but it's got that fun edginess to it. It's got a cool soundtrack. All these characters are back. That trailer just made me freaking laugh my ass off. Drax, I think, stole that whole trailer. That was so funny. You got Baby Groot. 
Jedi, Rocket, Star-Lord, Gamora, this entire team back, and I'm really looking forward to it. You got Kurt Russell and Sylvester Stallone, you got Tango and Cash is in this movie. That gets me excited. James Gunn just knows how to direct a really fun, entertaining comic book movie, and, and yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 just looks like a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to it. Coming number five is the movie Logan. Yes, Logan, my god. I never had so many recommendations for me to do a trailer reaction for that trailer that came out for Logan. But unfortunately, I watched that trailer like a day late, so I, didn't, I couldn't really do a reaction. Because it was a little too late to do a reaction, but it blew me away, that trailer. It was like The Last of Us. Yeah, remember that video game, The Last of Us? Amazing game. It's kind of almost like a movie form of this, but it's Wolverine. This movie looks so freaking good. It looks so dark. That trailer with the Johnny Cash song. It looks dark. It looks gritty. It's R-rated. That scene with Wolverine stabbing the guy with the blood. Just, oh, it looks so amazing. This is the last role we'll ever see Hugh Jackman play as Wolverine and Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier. This just looks like a damn good movie. Just looks like a very different, very fresh X-Men movie. And I'm really looking forward to it. It looks freaking awesome. Coming number four is Spider-Man Homecoming. This is probably one of the most anticipated movie, most anticipated superhero movie of 2017. I don't know. I just love Spider-Man. I grew up with Spider-Man, the cartoons, the movies and stuff. And I've been waiting for a good Spider-Man movie for quite some time. After Spider-Man 2, we haven't got a good Spider-Man, so yeah. I really want to see a good Spider-Man movie. Tom Holland was amazing in Civil War, and I think this movie is going to be terrific. That trailer was so freaking funny. Michael Keaton looks like a great villain as the Vulture. You got Downey Jr. Come on, I, that shot with Iron Man and Spider-Man together, just freaking awesome. It looks humorous, it looks entertaining, it's probably going to be badass, and it's probably going to be a really fun, entertaining comic book movie, and I'm just really looking forward to it. Hands down, my most anticipated superhero movie of next year. Coming number three is Blade Runner 2049. Yes, if you would have asked me seven months ago, is Blade Runner the sequel your most anticipated movie of 2017? I would have said hell no, because I still agree. Blade Runner does not need a sequel. Blade Runner is an amazing standalone movie. It's my favorite movie of all time. It's a sci-fi masterpiece. But when I saw that teaser, it looked freaking good. It looked really freaking good. It had the atmosphere, the tone of Blade Runner. It felt like an actual Blade Runner. The world, everything, the designs, the set pieces, everything that about that movie seems like a really good, edgy, neo-noir sequel. A very interesting sequel. You got Ryan Gosling. You got Rick Decker back, played by Harrison Ford. You got Jed Leto. Everything about that trailer, even though it was only like a minute, was really intriguing. I still, I'm still am very skeptical about the movie. Movie, but the movie is directed by Denis Villeneuve. He directed my favorite movie of this year, Arrival. He directed my favorite movie of 2013, Prisoners. So he's a talented filmmaker. I have a lot of hopes, mostly because of Denis Villeneuve. But also, that teaser was just so freaking good. And that cast is just so freaking good. So yeah, I'm really highly anticipating this movie. I will really be upset if it is a terrible movie because it's an insult to the original. But I'm looking forward to it. Coming number two is a weird choice, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this movie. It's called Baby Driver, yes. Baby Driver is written and directed by Edgar Wright. That is the reason why I'm excited for this movie. Yes, it has a really good cast, but that's not why. Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright is one of my favorite comedic directors out there. He is just so freaking brilliant. He wrote and directed the, the Cornetto Trilogy and Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is his new movie called Baby Driver. It's this very comedic action crime story. I'm just looking forward to it. Just because Edgar Wright. Anytime Edgar Wright is involved with a project, you know you're going to get something great. Because he was also involved with Ant-Man, which was awesome, and Tintin, which was also awesome. So anytime you have Edgar Wright's name, especially in the director's chair, I'm excited. And my number one most anticipated movie of 2017 is... What do you think? Star Wars Episode 8. I'm a Star Wars fan. Star Wars is my favorite franchise, favorite trilogy, favorite everything in all of movies. It's Star Wars. It's Star Wars. Episode 8, I'm really looking forward to this movie. It's directed by Ryan Johnson, who did Looper and Brick, two amazing noir thrillers. I don't think Star Wars is going to be a noir thriller, but it's going to be a fun, entertaining science fiction film. All the characters from Force Awakens are all coming back. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they're doing with this movie. I'm looking forward 
forward to Kylo Ren and his training with Snoke and Rey, her training with Luke Skywalker. I want to know the secrets of Rey. I want to know. I want more bromance with Poe Dameron and Finn. I want more space battles. I want more freaking lightsaber battles. I want to know where this trilogy is going. I'm excited. I am so freaking excited for Episode Eight. Anytime a new Star Wars movie comes out, it's always going to make my best of the year. So I'm really having a lot of hopes for Episode Eight. It's probably going to be my probably my favorite movie of next year. Hopefully, but yeah, it's episode 8. It's Star Wars. Of course, it's my most anticipated movie of 2017. So yeah, that was my top 10 most anticipated movies of 2017. So yeah, that's it, guys. This is probably my last video of 2016. I may, I may, uh, if I have time, because I'm going to be pretty busy in the next few days, I might make another video of quick movie reviews, because I saw a few other movies in the past couple days and stuff, these Oscar contender sort of movies. I just didn't have time to do movie reviews for them, so if I, if I have time, I will make a whole video of, like, eight movie reviews and just one video of movies I've missed in the ending of 2016, if I have time. If I don't have time, I'll see you guys next year with some reviews for 2017. Yes, January movies. Yo, best time of the year. So yeah, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a good New Year's. Have a good year. Thank you guys for watching me of 2016. It was a very interesting year. So yeah, let's look forward to the future of 2017. Looks like there's going to be some great movies. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me, what are your most anticipated movies of 2017? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.